the window method. Next, our design is taped to the main surrounding piece of veneer. In this case, it's the mahogany. This is known as the waster. For the window method, the whole design is copied onto the waster with carbon paper. Windows are then cut from the waster and other veneers are cut to fit into this window which has been created. Before any cutting takes place, it is important to reinforce certain places of the veneer with tape. Areas that need to be reinforced are acute angles and where sharp points are created, such as at the top of the leaf in this case. Also, thin areas that do not have the grain running parallel to the cutting direction, such as at the stem of the leaf in this case. Finally, any small pieces. A good rule of thumb is anything smaller than your largest fingernail should be reinforced. As shown earlier, a scoring cut outlines the segment which you are cutting. It is very important to be aware at all times the piece of the veneer that you want to keep. The knife should be held at an angle towards the waist. This will create a bevel. One advantage of the window method is the hole created can be orientated above various veneers to find the best grain direction and color to suit. Remember, waste should always be kept to a minimum. This can be achieved by keeping the window as close to the edge of the sheet as possible. Scribing along the window accurately is critical to the success of your marquetry. You should take your time with this step. Keep the knife upright and perpendicular to the veneer. You are not aiming to cut the veneer here, just to gently mark it following the pattern you've already cut out. If you look closely, you can see here the shallow outline of the pattern. Remember, remember to reinforce any possible problem areas and to mark waste so that you know which way to tilt the knife. You can now check if it fits and tape it down if you are satisfied. All pieces of the marquetry are done in this same way, whether it's a three piece marquetry or one with 20 pieces.
At this point, you can refer back to your drawing to see which way the grain orientation will suit best. Use masking tape to temporarily hold the waster to the veneer so that it doesn't move while you score the outline. Masking tape can be used in this situation because it is only stuck for a brief period. It must always be peeled off with the grain. Why don't we use masking tape for all of the marquetry? Masking tape can tear the veneer when it has been taken off. Veneer tape comes off easily when moistened. Furthermore, veneer tape contracts as it dries, which improves your joints.